You know her byline on lots of good news, news articles. You probably listen to her podcast while you're doing the laundry. As editor of The Church News, Sarah Jane Weaver tells the stories of activity and impact by both members and officials for The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We are so glad to grab a minute of this busy woman's time to chat with Sarah in the lead up to another weekend of general conference sessions for The Church. Sarah, welcome to Studio 5. Well, it's great to be here with you today. Thank you for being here. We read your good words and we read your good stories and it's nice to hear more about them in person. You follow LDS church leaders all over the globe. Tell us where you've been lately and what's going on. Well, you know, this has been a really exciting time for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. In January, President Nelson marked five years as the leader and prophet of the church. And um, everyone has sort of followed his fast-paced global ministry. And it's and, been fast-paced. Yes, yeah, so, so church leaders are always going Somewhere. Uh, the last trip I went on was with President Dallin H. Oaks. He went to Chicago where he spoke to church members. And he actually asked us all to be kind and united. And I think that's such a sweet message going right into general conference. It is. And it sounds simple, but it's so needed. Kindness and unification. Mm -hmm. We need this. The world needs this. We feel that. Give us some things to know heading into this weekend of general conference. What have you been pulling together? Well, General Conference is as predictable as they come. We know who's going to speak, the First Presidency and the Quorum of the Twelve. But it's also very exciting for members of the church. It's the Super Bowl, <laughs> per se, um, for people who cover the church like I do. And, and you know, conference is, is translated into 98 languages. It's amazing. And so we, we always are excited to hear words from, from prophets and leaders and yes. women leaders. Yes. There are a few maybe buzzy topics that I think people are curious about as well. First, the temple updates. We always look forward to hearing that, seeing that count go up and possibly even hearing announcements of new temples. What do you foresee for that this yeah, weekend? You know, temples are a huge issue. Uh, President Russell M. Nelson has announced 118 temples as leader of the church. That brings the total of temples that are announced or under construction or dedicated to 300. Mm. And, and especially for your listeners, we now have 28 temples that are announced or under construction in Utah. Uh, I think another exciting thing about temples was an announcement that President Nelson made last general conference in which he announced four temples for Mexico City. And, and so you now have a metropolitan area like Mexico City that has six temples yes. so that, that members who deal with traffic mm -hmm. can actually get to the temple and get home in a reasonable amount of time. Yeah, there's a convenience factor to it and accessibility, mm -hmm. but it's a marvel really to consider the temple growth here locally as you, as you highlighted, but also globally as well. Uh, in recent months, we've seen some attention around the humanitarian and charitable mm -hmm. efforts of the church. Bring us up to speed on that. Yeah, the, the church just released their 2022 uh, Caring for the Needy um, uh, annual report. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. in that report, they detailed emergency response and, and church initiatives, including uh, efforts they make for wheelchairs or to provide clean water. And the thing that's really exciting is that in 2022, uh, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints gave more than a billion dollars to humanitarian aid. And we see how those dollars help and lift and send love to people around the world. Mm -hmm. It's amazing as well. You've written in the last little bit about the historical publishings, um, the Joseph Smith Papers projects particularly is, is, of, is of interest to you, I know. Yeah, the, the Joseph Smith Papers project is a project that has been going on for two decades and it's now finally coming to a close. Um, the church will release the last of 27 volumes and this really changed the way we look at history with some original documents and opened the door for uh, transparency in our history. Um, historians can access these documents online as well as any of the, our members can as well. Tell me this, as you look at these headlines, as you write around these, these noteworthy stories and topics, but also travel, as you mentioned, and mm -hmm. have that front row seat to so many amazing unfoldings of the church and its leadership, what strikes you? What's a personal observation you've made through your travels that maybe you're carrying with you into General Conference weekend? Well, you know, in, in August of last year, President Nelson rededicated the Washington DC temple. Uh -huh. And it was one of the first times he'd been on a trip outside of Utah since the pandemic. So when I had a chance to interview him, I asked him about that. I said, uh, President Nelson, this is your first time out. 
And, and you can tell he didn't really love the question. He said, um, you know, I really never left the members. So he acknowledged with the really that, that the, the pandemic had limited his and other church leaders' travels. Mm -hmm. But this idea that he never left the members, that he used technology to reach out to them, and that now he is going to speak to every single member of his congregation in the world at the same time mm -hmm. is, a, is a really beautiful concept. And, yes. and he is excited and all of us are excited yes. to hear from him as well. Well, the connection he demonstrated in that response, in that mm -hmm. answer, I never left. I never left. I'm, I'm always here. Says a lot. I am leading this church and yes. I care about its members. Sarah Jane Weaver, thank you so much. Where can we find these stories and more? How can we listen to your podcast? The podcast is available on any podcast channel. It's called The Church News Podcast. And you can uh, read updates on the church on thechurchnews.com. You do great work. Thank you for your insight and thank the information you. you share. So much for having me. You bet. You bet.